Time for a little victory dance. <laughs> we got all the floor tore out. Um, we got a little bit right here. This little piece right here, uh, that's part of that whole front section right there. So that's probably going to be kind of our transition point for the floor right there. It'll, I guess, probably slope down. We got these nails like that right there to pull up. Here's where our access to the fuel tank is right there. So don't lose stuff down in there and like, well, don't mess nothing up down in there. <laughs> All right, guys, so oh, that was the worst one as of yet to take out. Uh, that thing, it, it had a lot of nails. It had some glue and stuff holding it down. So it was a huge pain, but finally I got it out of there. Um, as you guys seen, I had to use a Sawzall to cut a pretty good sized chunk off of it so it would fit past that lip right there on the wall. Uh, at least I hope you guys seen it. I don't remember which way the camera was pointing at that moment. But anyways, we're going to get the rest of this stuff out of here. And we're going to run into town and weigh the bus. And we're going to pick up some supplies to put uh, insulation down, uh, plywood, and the flooring. And maybe a few other things. So we'll see you on the other side.
So I got some numbers here, got it figured up. I subtracted my daughter's weight because she wasn't on the bus the first time around. She weighs like 105 pounds. So anyways, the weight this time would be 16,215 if you subtract her weight. And that is a total uh, weight loss on the bus. 1,945 pounds is what we've taken out of here. So man, that is a lot of weight we took off here. But now we're gonna go load some more weight up on here. We're gonna go run over to Lowe's and get some supplies. So here we go. All right, guys, we're at Lowe's. Let's go get some stuff. All right, we got our Procore, Procore Dovetail Oak Flooring, Liquid Nails, Paint and Primer for the rust. And we're getting ready to get the uh, insulation, so stay tuned. We got everything loaded up. Now we're gonna head back to the house, so let's get it.
right guys there you go there's the flooring that's kind of what it's going to look like i like that nice light color right there it's kind of grayed out that will help with lighting inside the bus i think so it's not like a dark wood or anything um but before we do all that we got to clean up the rust and everything we got this rusty metal primer i just got one gallon of that to hit all the rusty rusty spots and then i got two gallons of the smoke gray right here of rust-oleum all oil-based paint and i picked up this little roller here and the reason i got a little one instead of one of them great big wide ones is i don't like the wide ones for one and these right here you can work out of your uh, one gallon can with this right here and it's not too big a deal i mean it, it's going to take you maybe a little bit more time to mop the floor uh you know put that all that paint on and everything but that's not what i'm worried about um uh, you know this right here saved a little bit of money not having to buy the big roller and then having to buy a tray or you know, we don't need that uh we probably actually will use the silicone right here to seal up all of the holes first uh so we won't have any holes in the floor then once that is dry this this right here says it dries you can paint it in 20 minutes so it'll dry out be good to go in 20 minutes uh, that'll save us a little bit of time we can go through hit all the holes make sure they're sealed up and then basically you can pretty much open up a gallon can of paint and start pouring it out on the floor and, and just make kind of uh, some zigzags back and forth across the floor and mop it down with this roller right here nice quick and easy you don't have to buy all that extra stuff or anything uh, i worked for a industrial paint company for several years i had to have my cdl for that also um oh, and i went over the road doing jobs uh for that company uh that's actually the guy i bought my semi truck from and uh yeah so anyways let me take you guys inside the shipping container and show you the other stuff we got i know you've seen us carrying it and everything loading it up unloading it hey it's not echoing out here <laughs> all right let's go in here and show you the rest of what we got here's the the flooring the rest of the boxes here and here's some the insulation we got eight of these right here they're one inch thick four by eights uh, then we got eight uh, three-eighths inch thick four by eights of Plytanium Then I got two uh, These are basically three quarters of an inch. I can't remember they they go by 30 seconds I guess but basically three-quarter inch. I think uh, real close to it anyway Of some plywood that's sanded on one side so we can actually make uh, Kind of like furniture with that That's kind of the plan. I'm thinking one sheet will probably make like a a pull out bed up towards the front of the bus it'll be like a, a couch slash bed or whatever and underneath of that is actually where all of the solar stuff is going to come into the bus uh the batteries uh charge controllers all that stuff will be housed underneath that so i needed to get the plywood to build that out and have that ready um i'm not sure exactly what we're doing on the like the solar and everything we may be having someone come out and actually just do that install for us just to make sure that it is good to go and no issues or anything i don't know everything about solar uh and charge controllers how to hook all that stuff up the batteries and everything i just haven't done all the research on that kind of stuff so i'm thinking there'd probably be someone coming out to do that for me uh and if i can i will record and show you guys all of that but yeah this is my stack of wood right here I've got some pine. I know a lot of you are going to say, well, why don't you use that pine for your flooring? It'll save you some money. Well, this right here is not flooring for one. It's just pine and it would probably crack and break on me for one because it's real wood. It's not waterproof, but we will likely be using this for some, uh, you know, trim pieces and everything. I actually milled this up for a job that I had bid on and that job kind of fell through. That was a big bummer because I spent a lot of time milling this stuff up and running it through the planer and everything. And then that job fell through and I just had a bunch of wood and a whole bunch of work that I had invested in this. And so now I'm going to be able to probably use some of this right here. So that'll be, that'll be kind of nice getting to uh, 
I guess, save a little bit of money by having some of this wood myself. Um, I'm going to have to look through all this right here, but I think I've got two slabs down here. I might be able to use those for countertops. Um, if we can get them cleaned up and glued together, that is, uh, I believe that's hackberry. Yeah, that's hackberry that I got on the bottom down there. So we got that down there. We could use for a big countertop or something. And I've got some other stuff out here. Oh man, if I could walk through this firewood here. I've got this walnut right here. It's pretty thick. I'm, I would probably have to cut that down a little bit to save on weight. I got some this English walnut right here that came from my yard. Um, this right here is hedge wood right here. It's kind of a, a dark yellow color whenever you sand it. Um, it's just kind of grayed out from being out in the sun. Let's see. And I've got some more wood over here. I got some silver maple, some oak, some elm, all right here. You know, these are pieces I could make uh, countertops out of. Some of them are fairly dry, I guess. They've been out here about a year or so. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're gonna be a little drier than a lot of other stuff. My next videos coming out is gonna have to be milling these logs right here and some of those logs over there. I've got an order that a guy um, put in and he's already paid like half up front. So I need to get started on that for him, get his order done for him so I can also get the other half of the money on it. But yeah, we got that big log right there. That's a big old boy right there, guys. He's sitting on the mill waiting to be milled up. So hopefully if the weather is good tomorrow, we'll be doing that. Um, I'll probably also get inside the bus tonight uh, because I can get some lights inside there and have the heater running and get just get in there with that grinder and get after it and make a bunch of dust. I don't know if I'll do much recording on that because I'm telling you, it's just going to be a cloud of rusty dust in there. That's all it's going to be. And I'm going to have a respirator and all that good stuff on. Um, but we'll show you guys the aftermath in the morning. Uh, so hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications because, guys, this bus build is going to be super awesome. I just know it is. I just know it is. I don't want to just go and buy cabinets for it. I mean, I do want to do that because it would be so much easier, uh, but I think I'm probably going to be building my own cabinets. So you guys are probably going to want to stick around and see just exactly how I do everything in here because I really don't even know exactly how I'm going to do everything. I'm just kind of winging it. I've never built a bus out before, but I have enough experience building things that I'm pretty sure I can get this done. Uh, and hopefully do it with the least amount of mess ups possible um, You're bound to have a screw up here and there probably But you know, there's things like the solar and stuff like that That it, that's a that's a big risk uh, if you mess that up. So um, I've been talking with uh, the person who is helping me out on this and uh, We're probably gonna have someone come out and do the solar for me. So uh, fingers crossed all that works out and everything but I think it's going to be awesome, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy following this build. So please subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you a thing to subscribe and watch my videos. So uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.